All right, guys, so to install Python, we're going to need to install a couple things. So in this email, I'm going to send out to you guys uh, for the Python, we have two links. We have a Node J7 program that you can click on and download it. We're going to download it to our desktop. And the second program we're going to download is called Aptana, and this is the actual IDE, the integrated development environment that we're actually going to be programming in. So once you click on this link, uh, give it a moment. This this website is quite large, so it does take a little bit of time to load. If you notice up here on the top of my tab, it, it is still loading. So it does take a little while. So I'll just wait for that. All right, now that it's finished loading, we're going to go and hit Customize Your Download. So if you're on a Mac, go ahead and click on Mac. If you're on Windows, you have to hit 32-bit. If you don't hit 32-bit, you won't be able to download the Windows version. There's only a 32-bit available. So um, once you do hit Windows 32-bit, go ahead and hit Download Aptana, and we're going to download this to our desktop. And we'll just give this a minute. It looks like it's going to take about 15 seconds to download. So I'll just wait real quick. All right, now that it's finished downloading, we'll go to our desktop. And this is very important. We need to run the node.js program first. We'll hit accept, click next, 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 and install. All right, and we'll go ahead and install this. And it's very important we have to install this before we install Aptana. Aptana can't be installed without node.js. All right, now we'll click finish. Okay, now we're going to hit the Aptana installation and we hit agree. And I'm going to speed this part of the video up uh, just because it does take a few minutes for it to install. And also note here, it is really important that you have a Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio community from C++ installed already because we did install that Python element and we're going to need that. All right, so now we got this Aptana Studio icon and we're on our desktop. We're going to click it so it can run and Aptana is going to open up now. So we'll just give it a moment to load up. All right, now there's one really important thing before we start programming is we have to let Python or Aptana know where our Python interpreter is. So we'll go to Windows and hit Preferences. And we'll, let me make this window a little bit bigger, our preferences window. And we're going to go and hit the PyDev folder, and we're going to go and twirl down the interpreters folder, and we're going to hit Python interpreter. Now, right here, you see I have an interpreter for Python, but if you notice, it says down here Python 2.714. This is the old version of Python, so I'm going to remove this. Um, so... I was working with an older version of Python before for some other programming. You might not have this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to add the new version of Python. So we'll hit new. And then we're going to type in Python 3 right here. And we're going to hit browse. Now, I'm going to show you where to get Python. You're going to go to your local C disk, programs.x86 uh, folder. And you're going to look for the Microsoft Visual Studio folder. And then the shared folder and the Python 3664 folder. And you're going to select this Python W.exe and you're going to hit open and OK, OK again and OK one more time. Now we're getting the interpreter ready for Aptana. All right. Now we're going to make our Python project. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to file. And we're going to click on new and then project right there. And let me make this window a little bit bigger real quick so you guys can see. Uh, you're going to go in the PyDev folder and hit PyDev project. And now you can give your project a name. We're just going to call ours Python 1. And for project contents, we're going to, we're not going to use the default. We're going to go to our desktop and we're going to make a new folder here. And we're just going to call it Python. 
and we're going to click on it and click OK. And the other thing that we have to do is for the interpreter, we're going to hit Python 3 and then click Finish. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go to New again, File, and we're going to make a Python file. You can name this whatever you want. We're going to name ours py1.py. And it's very important that you have this .py at the end of your program file so it knows it's a Python file. And here I'm just going to copy in a print command. And in order to run your program, you're going to hit this little play button, and then you're going to hit Python run. Okay, don't use unit test. you got to hit Python run. And once you do, now uh, you can see that the console came up and my program ran. All right, guys, so now you can go ahead and program in Python.